Hi and welcome to today's video tutorial on how to add a third party camera to our Hike Vision recorder. And uh, that's for a third party IP camera to an NVR. So there's a couple of things you need to know ahead of me showing you how to add it on there. Um, not all devices are supported. Um, we do have a supported list that you can look for uh, on our website under partners, uh, or you can email tech support at tech support .usa or tech support .usa at hikevision.com and just let ask them for what the supported devices are for uh, your particular recorder. So uh, rule of thumb here is on the plug and play NVRs, the ones that have the built-in switch in the back, it only supports Hike Vision and OnVif uh, uh, supporting devices. So uh, contact your third-party manufacturer and find out if they support OnVif and which version. So that'll give you kind of an idea of what functionality you have. If they support Profile S, uh, you should be able to get a lot of the functions coming through there, such as, you know, motion detection and even PTZ controls and stuff of that nature. So uh, definitely check on that before you add the camera in here so you know what, what features it will, it will support. All right. So with that said, uh, what you want to do is from the main window, right-click, go to Menu, and again, this might, uh, well, this might ask you for your password. If you have that enabled, go ahead and enter the password. And then go to menu. All right, once you're in this menu, go to camera setup. And what you want to do is click on the custom adding uh, button here on the bottom right. So you won't see those cameras show up here. This is only able to detect hike vision cameras. So under custom adding, go ahead and click there. And what you're going to do is enter the camera's IP address, whatever that might be. So uh, if you're uh, if you're using a third-party camera again, what you want to do is use their setup software. Depending on the company you're you're working with, use their setup software. Assign the IP address, assign the password, and then add it afterwards. So uh, in this case, what you would do is enter the, I'm just using the IP address of dot two. So my subnet's 192.168.1. That particular camera is on the 192.168.1.2 address. Right here, I can choose from any of these manufacturers. Now, just because the manufacturers in here doesn't mean we support all the cameras. So again, check that compatibility uh, or supported device list. Uh, from our website or again just message tech support uh, via email all right so in this case you know, I'm just going to choose something I'm going to choose access or here let's just roulette here yeah let's go with access so it automatically enters their uh, default management port which would be 80 the the uh Transfer protocol, you can choose UDP or TCP or leave it on auto. Usually that's fine. And then you enter the username and password, right? So whatever the password was, you enter it there. And once you have that, go ahead and click add. So in this case, I don't have a camera I can add, but once you click add, what will happen is it'll, it should appear here with the status of uh, connected, right? So it should look like a little check here. The only cameras you would see this uh, like play button for should be will will be our cameras just because we support the live view here. Okay, and then that's pretty much it for adding a third party camera. So the only thing again, keep in mind, make sure you're in the right subnet. Uh, set up the camera before trying to add it because. Uh, we won't detect it, and you can't change the default IP address from this window. So you, you have to use a PC connected to that camera, either via switch or PoE injector, if it's a IP camera, and then 
assign it uh, an IP address and then add it in here. All right. Thank you guys for watching and hope to see you in the next video soon. Thank you.